like Taylor, our next guest has a connection to American Idol, specifically the show's host. Since she was three years old, Maya's courageously battled brain cancer, endlessly going through treatment and having surgeries. But during those visits, she found an escape. There was a free media broadcast studio for kids built right into her children's hospital in Colorado. It's called Seacrest Studios, and it's one of nearly a dozen of them run by Ryan Seacrest Foundation. Let's say hi to Maya, everybody. <laughs> So it's great to meet you. So how are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but I'm good. Well, good. That's the lights and everything. Well, welcome. Um, and Thank I want to talk about the Seacrest Studios. I've actually visited a couple, so they're very cool. How did you get involved with yep. them? I had been going to the hospital for 10 years. Regularly. Um, yeah. And so I was so done, and my mom always had to bribe me to go to my appointment. It's exhausting. I can only imagine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and once the Seacrest Studios opened, my mom always had to make sure we had time for me to go into the studio. And so it became my joy and yeah. um, a place I just felt like I could let my guard down and be myself. I love that. You said my place of joy. That one got me. Woo! <laughs> um, well, you actually ended up creating your own YouTube. So, so your own show. So tell us about that. Yeah, so I have a weekly show called The Latest News to Keep You in the Groove with Maya. I give my top picks for shows, movies, and music, and I always have a spotlight artist. That's amazing, Zachary Levitt. So you get some big people on your show. Yeah. How do you do yeah. that? I do a ton of research to find uh, these contacts for people, and I'm very persistent. I don't give up until I get a response I love it. back. Yeah. <laughs> well, after seven years, you're wrapping up your show, right? So I, why, and yeah. why, why now? Yes. Well, so I'm aging out of the um, children's hospital that section, system, yeah. Yeah. and so I figured 300 interviews is a great place to end it, and I just recently had my 295th, so. Wow, <laughs> you gotta get five more. Thank you, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, have a, I have a friend who is crazy impressed with what you've accomplished, um, and he wanted to meet you, so is it okay if he comes out? Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, well, everybody say hello to Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> By the way, you're a great guest. I know. Thank you. And then she got me. She opened me. I was like, oh my God, you just said you found your place of joy. I was like, I'm done. Yeah. That was so beautiful. I mean, she's done Thank almost you. 300 shows. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> asked great questions and yeah. an inspiration to so many people who are in the hospital, out of the hospital, want to do what we do for a yeah. living. And you're so comfortable doing it. Always. Thank you. you know? So what do you want to what do you want to say to Maya? What do you think? So, you know, we've known each other a long time. <laughs> and we've yeah. had some chats. You were on my show, but mm -hmm. I've never been a guest on yours. Yeah. So I would like to be, if you would accept the invitation to be your last guest. I love that. <laughs> that would mean the world to me. So Maya, do you have anything that you want to say to Ryan? Well, I just wanna thank you for everything you've done for kids all over the country in the hospital and for me like the studio has um, changed my life and I honestly don't know where I'd be without it so thank you. Thank you. And she said oh. Thank you. I just can't get over the, the it was your place of joy. <laughs> like, oh my God. It's just like, cause that can be a hard thing. Like I, I remember a lot of kids have told me, they're like, it's just nice to feel just like normal. Like you're doing something normal right. or like something fun or something I'm passionate about instead of being stuck in the, these white walls, you know? Sorry, I just had one thing I wanted to tell you. Yes. Just um, that Actually, when I was three years old, my favorite song was Since You've Been Gone. Aww. And it was like my first introduction to pop music and throughout 
the years, like your music has just helped me through so much. So just being here and like Thank being able to that. talk to you is just a dream come true. Well, wait, so if you like Since You've Been Gone and any other songs, I'm actually doing like 10 shows in Vegas this summer. And like, you can have some tickets <laughs> if you want to come and be my guest. <laughs> I would love to have you come. You can jam out. I promise I'm singing since you've been gone. <laughs> I can't, now. We can't do a show without it. Yeah. yeah. I would love you to be my guest at one of those shows if you want to oh come. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That, that would be it's a dream come the true. It's in the end of July <laughs> through August. We'll get all the details <clears throat> backstage. Ryan, you're more than welcome Thank to come. <laughs> I'll sit y'all in the same section. Um, all right, everybody, let's get to some commercials. Don't That's forget so to great. watch American Idol live Sunday nights on ABC with episodes available the next day on Hulu.